from Gloucester. I have been taking over these sessions for a while now. And today I'm taking over the session with quite a question. And it's about which uh, form of news do you trust the most? So let's start with Kushbu. Which form of news do you trust the most? Yes, ma'am. Good, ma good evening. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So the question to talk for today is which source of news do you trust the most and why? Ma'am, I think uh, the thing which I see from my eyes is the only thing uh, thing I trust. Okay, so you don't trust any news whatsoever apart from anything, uh, uh, apart from what you see. Yes, ma'am. See, in the during of the time of Corona news, so the uh, so the they talk news every time, and they depressed us. I no, I understand, and I and I agree. Uh, when it, whatever you channel you were on, and you know, switching on the news it was Corona this, Corona that. Switch on to the other news, Corona this, Corona that. It was all about Corona. It seemed like nothing else was going in the world except for Corona. Uh, yes. Um, Yes, which, yeah, it's very understandable. <laughs> um, okay, um, so I completely understand your point. But if you look at the, the sources of news that we have, what are the news sources that you know of that you can mention? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, lots of news are uh, coming nowadays, but how to how to um, believe on that news because in india we know about all news are sponsored media also is sponsored by political parties in by politics also so we don't understand and we don't believe in all the news okay it's all, it's all sponsored news paid news so all the news on tv is sponsored all newspapers are sponsored Every time advertising, advertising this or that thing is coming uh, in India like this, like that, but we can't believe in all the news. Okay, and if you had to choose between them, uh, if you had to choose between newspapers, if you had to choose between radio, television, um, internet, um, or maybe, you know, news uh, from, from different parts of the world, um, or news from these, some sites, you know, are very, um, they're not politically attached. Uh, so they give us a different a, a different perspective of news. Uh, yes, ma'am, like, uh, like weather news, like weather, no, weather news is normal news, like uh, earthquake in this place, earthquake coming on that place, like this and that. Uh, <clears throat> so we believe only like this, but news shows very extreme things sometimes. So we can't believe on all the all the news. No, you can't believe in all the news. But out of all the sources of news, which one would you trust the most? Mm. Ma'am, sometimes uh, which are coming like uh, about Corona news, we trust about that. Yes, Corona is uh, like that. Maybe it's uh, difficult, or maybe it's uh, very hard to with uh, people, family members and kids, it's uh, not a good, uh, uh, it's not a good uh, for a, uh, what, for a <clears throat> health, Corona, about that, then we learn and we, we learn about uh, news. And we know yes. about news, what is doing, what is coming worldwide. So something is uh, different to know and something is different to can't believe on all the things. No, definitely not. We have to have, um, we have to know, and, and to know what to believe and to choose what to believe, which is fine. Yes. But what I'm asking you is out of all the sources, out of all the news sources, because you also get news on Facebook, for example. Okay, so yes. let's say yes. you've got Facebook, news, you've got radio, you've got television, you've got newspapers, uh, you've got newspapers online, websites, and you've got other independent uh, people who give news and give their own controversies on YouTube channels. Okay, yes. which of those would you trust the most, or would you just trust none at all? 
Um, some news are trust. Some news uh, we accept about things like uh, coming uh, about weather, about environment. These things uh, we we believe on that. And I I never uh, I never uh, uh, newspaper. I never saw everyday newspaper. Just headlines I saw, and mm -hmm. just just uh, headlines uh, I saw and I read and think oh it's uh, it's uh, coming or it's a normal thing. Uh -huh. yeah political parties or maybe like uh, from uh, uh, other country worldwide situation what's are coming maybe share economy what is going in the world what worldwide so i learn about that news sometime it's uh, uh, it's good to learn okay that's that that's good okay so you keep an open mind and look at all the different sources but the, yes. my question is which source which source of news s o u r c e Okay, yes, which one do you trust the most? Uh, about, uh, ma'am, please repeat the question. Source. Okay, which source? So source meaning uh, whether it's, for example, coming from the newspaper or TV or radio. Both. Maybe sometime newspaper, everyday newspaper or on the, on the TV news channels. Okay, so you trust sometimes you trust the newspapers sometimes yes. you trust the, the tv channels do yes. you trust facebook news no ma'am not not all the times no do you trust youtube channel news no okay what about there's also other news that we haven't considered and you will laugh at this one it's the woman in the street who knows everything gossip yes gossip that's news as well no i don't <laughs> I don't have time for gossip. <laughs> okay, so that is a source of news as well. Yes. Okay, there are many of those people who know everything yes. uh, about nothing. <laughs> yes, what's okay. going on everywhere in the society or maybe others home? I don't. I'm not interested on that. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so that's another source of news. Okay. Okay, so these are different places where we can get our news from. That's the source, okay, where we can get our news from. Now, you decided to tell me that on some, sometimes I choose to believe the newspaper and sometimes I choose to believe the television. On news channels. On news channels. Why? Why do you choose to believe the newspaper sometimes and sometimes the TV? I mean, it's a national news channel, so we saw, I, uh, we saw, and we see all the times news channels. What's going uh, in the worldwide situation? What's going in the India? So I saw my family member all are interested in news channels. Yeah, so I saw all this. So I watched these. So I watch all these. Yeah, I watched that news. Okay. Okay. So it's because you trust it because it's what your family watches and it's what you have to watch is that why you yes, trust it my eyes. yes ma'am see from my eyes also and uh, and ears also yeah it's going on maybe it's right news okay and is it because it's uh, national and it's a it's a national channel so you could actually look at what's happening in different parts of the world not just in your country and yes. you can compare <clears throat> yes okay every time we can compare to other country what's what's going on the other countries and what's going in the india also okay okay so you're not sticking to a, a channel that is regulated by a political party you no. you it's a worldwide um view really yes. okay very good okay well done Kishbu. we got thank there you, thank you Okay, so let's move on to Fina. Good evening, ma'am. Hi, Fina. How are you? Today I'm a bit better. You look a lot better. You look great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're feeling a lot better, Fina. Okay, so which source of news do you trust the most and why? If you ask me, I don't trust news channels or any electronic media. Like not hundred percent. I just trust twenty five percent, and seventy five percent. I use my brain to understand all the news, because okay. all the news channels are paid and sponsored by the political parties. Okay, and 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 why? 
because it uh, all the channels are paid and sponsored by the political party so they uh, present the news according to their sponsors okay. so we have to use our brain to understand that okay this is the news and this should be the actual news and they are presenting it like this okay um so you choose to believe no news at all no i don't believe no. any news channel i just okay i i watch the news and i just see okay this is the news and then i use my brain i study that topics like uh, nowadays the farmer there is a conspiracy going on between the government and the farmers like oh i see so i am studying all those things ki what is the main issue no one is interested in the main issue everyone is interested ki let's get modi out of the country so this is the main agenda and every news channel is presenting like modi is the criminal of this country and he should be thrown out of the throne i see okay and if you look at all sources so okay you mentioned tv um if you had to look at newspaper radio facebook news gossip uh, um would you believe any of those sources no facebook is just None. they are just uh, promoting their channels and everything youtube are also promoting their channel they make masala news and show to us yeah newspaper are bit good better than the electronic media they okay. write something better but okay so newspapers I, because i am not okay. too much fond of start, uh, reading so i just go and watch news it's easier yeah it's easier, easier to watch to news than than read the news just play the news and you can hear it while doing anything awesome now why do you think newspapers are better because they give local news also what from where we are and we should be connected to the local news also no absolutely but why do you think people um are not as uh, one sided on a newspaper not necessarily as one yeah they are uh, not being sponsored by some of the political parties that why aha uh -huh. okay. they are not being sponsored so your newspapers are not attached to any political party they're completely free not, so you not, get a... not every newspaper there are also newspaper who are being ah, sponsored okay but some of the newspaper are not sponsored so they give us exact news what we want okay and do you do you watch maybe um different different news from around the world yeah i watch bbc news that? also do you prefer to watch bbc news do you think it's more for the world i watch but for india i don't watch bbc news because i don't find that they are they present india as like on that stage india i don't like bbc news or in, in india news yeah they no, don't no, show us, they don't show us better they show us that we are worst we don't we are good for nothing what i feel oh by the, by the way don't think uh, i won't be offended i don't watch bbc <laughs> i don't watch no, bbc no, news I'm just all, because it's all, because it's all covid that, <laughs> because after watching bbc news and the covid news i was extremely shocked ki this covid was nothing and we the the, the media made it hyped and one year we sp just spend in the home and we spoil our life this was the main reason of bbc news oh, i hated this that news channel oh don't worry don't worry I, my family members love watching bbc news um <laughs> Bless them. They they are lovely, but but they they love watching BBC News and 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 used to watch it every day to see what's happening, what's new, what's happening with Corona. And every day it it was one depressing story after the next. And finally, I got fed up, and I just I just never went went downstairs again. I just said no, no, I don't. I just to watched that. <laughs> one day the news channel regarding the COVID and everything. and the next day i asked my parents and everyone don't open the news channel they are just making us fool this is just nothing but my father was every day watching and he was getting depression <laughs> and depression and depression exactly so news has its it has its problems unfortunately because it does get us into a into a negative mood especially lately yes um so you can't trust any any of these and uh, So how do you get your news what do you do how how do you how do you form your own opinion like when i saw i saw i saw any news i just google it exactly on the uh, google it's there 
I just read the topics. Okay, this is the main reason. And then again, I watch the news channel and I say the reason behind the news was that and they are showing something else. The people are fighting for something else and they are showing something else. Okay, so you make a wise a, a, a wise judgment on each topic where yeah. you where you don't you don't Google the name of the case you don't Google the case you don't Google the piece of news you Google the actual topic that they are talking about so yes. they're talking about farming for an example you Google irrigation techniques as an example actually they, they are like now the farmer law there is a law coming for the farmers that is the main topic. So I just Google what is the main problem of the farmers and what government is providing and what farmers want it. If you Google, you'll get everything there. But the people are making like hype of this situation and like there was a, a, a situation where right happened. Like people were, uh, many policemen were injured, many people were injured. So this was just a hype created by the other political parties and I will not tell both the parties were involved and they just created the hype. Okay, exactly. So you are getting a one-sided story. Yeah, we get the one-sided story uh, which the party is paying. The news channel is showing their story. Because they paint, they, yes. pa they paint an image. Okay. Very good, Fina. Well done. Um, good use of vocabulary there. Thank you. Mike. And now I shall move on to uh, Sagar. Sagar? Sa Sagar? Sagar, sorry. Sorry, uh, Sagar. Okay. Um, so which source of news do you trust the most and why? I'll be honest, I don't give the time to watch TV news because I was very busy with my work, so I will see my mobile with the news. So I read money control and other reliable news sources where I can get the uh, sorry. Could you kindly repeat this? Because you um the sound is not coming out uh, well at all. Uh, all I got was that you're not what you don't trust any news. Okay. I don't get the time to watch TV news channel. Uh, so the, okay. I think that's a good thing because I really don't uh, think the TV news channel uh, goes as the biggest news. And uh, so that's why I follow the online news channel, like money control and other platforms. Okay, so you don't have any time to watch any news. And if you want going to see something, going to see it online. Yes, I watch it okay. on my mobile. Okay, but do you trust it? Sometimes I do that, yes, but I know that um, sometimes it happens um, that some news are Okay, and so so sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And when you do, you have to watch it again and try and figure out if it's real or not. Yes. Okay. And how do you so how do you judge whether it's real or not? How do you, what do you do to investigate it? I, I think I know that it is a real truth in your document. If we take the recent example of the farmer footage, uh, we really cannot know what exactly happened that day because I was not there and people who were there, they are not in their truth. So I think I don't get out the, uh, I know the facts Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, I don't know if there's something you can do about the sound because it's uh, really struggling to, to understand. Um, so, okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'll move on to Urvika now. Yes, ma'am. Hi, am I saying your name correctly? Yes, you are correct. Fantastic. Okay, so which source of news do you trust the most and why? 
actually in india there are many like news channels are uh, funded by political parties so there are mm-hmm. quite very few like one or two channels which are not funded by any political party or they never take uh, one side properly like biased they are not biased and uh, newspaper are also read uh, many times so i uh, usually trust uh, sources like the hindu al jazeera like that mm-hmm. so that i can get authentic news because these uh, sites and newspapers are not funded by any political party or group of people and like whenever i do muns uh, we are told to get authentic sources like not from any local media or like uh, the media which is funded by political party but the hindu al jazeera and indian express and the official government site like that so i search upon these things okay so so you you don't go towards a political party news uh a political uh, a news that is politically funded you try and look at, at the other national sources of news yeah okay and then you you form your own opinion by researching topics yes because i am a political science student and then i ho- have to be neutral okay so so explain to me so um can you give me an example oh, i'm very interested um in, in, in how you do it so uh, can you give me an example of, of the process let's say let's say about the the farmers the situation that's going on that vina said at the moment how do you investigate that yeah so i have uh, the app of electronic media like i have the app called mm-hmm. the hindu and mm-hmm. whenever there is new news uh, i get notification uh, if it's uh, interesting enough for me then i'll search it up and then i'll uh, google it and see one or two videos about the classes which tell about the matter which is going on mm-hmm. and i t- try to take some new uh, see some neutral videos which do not take any which are not biased okay so mm-hmm. then uh, whenever we have class of political science then our teacher also discuss and i also discuss this at home with my parents and brother mm-hmm. okay so your your method of um, of actually getting uh, forming your own opinion and forming your own conclusions is through hearing a very neutral a neutral argument then taking it and discussing it with a tutor the teacher and discussing it with your parents which is quite interesting to be honest because you do exactly what what greek philosophers used to encourage and used to do um people like plato socrates they used to say that you know yes they used to talk about philosophy but politics was one of the topics that you probably know this already uh politics was one of the things they used to talk about and it is through discussion that you discover um i don't know if you've ever heard of this vika yes i have heard about it so you are using their method which is quite interesting um okay and if you had to look at all the different sources of news which is so it 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 is that you look at these news channels that are the neutral ones that is that those are the ones that you trust mm, yes yes so if you had to trust any one any of these it would be it would be that definitely those can you repeat if you had to trust any any sources like newspaper tv radio facebook news gossip national news uh the ones that you would trust would be your your tv or internet news that that is coming from from a a, a neutral source yes okay okay fantastic thank you very much thank vika you. thank you well done okay and anjali Anjali Hello, hi Anjali, how are you? Did you get a haircut? Looks lovely. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so from the different sources of news, okay, which one do you trust the most and why? The newspaper and TV. Okay, why would you trust them the most? Anjali, could I ask you to type down your answer because I can't hear you properly. Uh, okay, so I got newspaper and TV. Could you write down your answer so I can ask you another question? Anjali? Anjali? Uh, Vina, is Anjali still? Yeah, she's there. I think so. She's typing her answer. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. because it, don't, it they don't spread, thank you. Okay, because they don't spread rumors. Okay, so you, th Anjali, you think that, that the newspaper and TV don't spread rumors. Okay, so you completely think that they always tell you that the real truth and they don't. That they don't give you a one sided story. Or do you think they sometimes do that? Do they sometimes give you a one-sided story? Or are you willing to trust them on anything that they say? Okay, not every time. But so are you willing to trust them on everything that, are you willing to trust the news and the newspaper on everything they say? Would you say you, you trust them 100% of the time? Okay, sometimes they mis misguide us, so we don't completely depend on them. That is true. Uh, sometimes they do misguide us, so we can't, we can't depend on them. Okay, so... Um, it, if they misguide us and we can't depend on them, then we really should evaluate whether we can trust them or not, because they're not so trustworthy then. Okay, so this makes you question it a bit. Okay, so that's a question to take with you, Anjali, um, whether you should be trusting them or not, because you said they don't, they don't spread rumours, but they also misguide us. So should I be trusting them? Um, well, very good, guys. Um, it was a good discussion to have today. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much.